Hey everyone, I hope everyone had a fantastic Christmas and a really really happy new year. Today I'm going to do a vlog about the bucket list that I've made of things that I really really want to do while I'm on the program at the end of this year. It's getting very very exciting. So I've seen a lot of other people do um, bucket list videos and a lot of these are probably the same sort of generic things but um, that's alright. These are the things that I want to do. A lot of other people as well have like 50 different things they want to do um, on their bucket list and like the duration of the program but I've only got 11 which is fine. I'm sure that bucket list will grow um, maybe even when I'm over there or leading up to that but at the moment these are the main sort of generic things that I want to do while I'm over there because I also want to relax as well and enjoy it as much as I possibly can. So let's go. Okay, number one. My first thing on my bucket list is to go on every single ride. So every single ride in every single park and the water parks, everything. I've done some of the rides before, but I want to do them all over again, but as a cast member. So that's my first thing. Second one is to see all of the shows. So all of the different shows that Disney offers, including like all of their hol holiday shows. So I'll be there. I'm during Halloween and during Christmas and New Year and all that stuff so all their Christmas shows and Halloween shows and all of that sort of stuff I want to see it all so hopefully I can take that off my list as well so I want to see all of the shows um, number three I want to meet all of the characters well as many as I can possibly meet so I want to meet them all get a photo with as many Disney characters as I possibly can and number four along with that I want to get as many character signatures as I possibly can. I can remember from the last time I was at Disney, you can buy like signature books for the characters, so I just want to fill one of those, which would be really sweet. Uh, number five, this might sound really cliche or really obvious, but I really want to make uh, lifelong new friends because that's what really will make the program is if you have people there that you get along with and that you can call your friend to do all this stuff on my bucket list with. So hopefully I can make some really nice new friends over there as well, which would be really lovely. Um, even friends from around the world, international friends, and I can have an excuse to travel more, stuff like that. I'd really love to do that. Okay, this next one's really exciting. I didn't really eat in many like restaurants or anything when I was at Disney, but Beaches and Cream have like a famous dessert called the kitchen sink and it is absolutely phenomenal from what I've heard it's massive just like it's like a massive sundae and you can have heaps of different stuff but it's just this massive like you'd have to take so many people to finish it with you so hopefully I can take a group of friends there and we can all have a kitchen sink together so um, I can take that off my list as well that would be awesome um, leading on with that as well, oh, I don't even know what number I'm up to anymore, but uh, I want to eat at a fair few of the Disney restaurants because like I said I haven't really eaten at many of them. So I know that I probably won't be able to eat at all of them because, you know, being over there and on the wages that you're on and paying rent and stuff, I won't have too uh, much money to kind of, you know, eat out all the time, but occasionally I'd really, really love to eat at a few Disney restaurants, especially some of the iconic ones, or maybe some restaurants at the hotels or something like that, which would be fantastic. Um, also, I would love, 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 love to collect as many Disney pins as possible. Disney, well, the parks in general, whether it's LA or Florida or anywhere else around the world, they're so big on pin trading and pin collecting. You, there are so many different pins that you can buy at the Disney stores and I want to buy like heaps and lanyards and just collect and trade as many Disney pins as I can you know get rare ones and that would be really sweet as well another thing I'd like to do is attend all cast member housing events they have a fair few of them I think um, for the duration of my program they have welcoming parties they have you know depending on the time of year you know Halloween parties Christmas parties New Year's parties um, when you finish your program they have leaving parties and all that sort of stuff so I want to promise myself no matter how jet lagged I am uh, no matter how tired I am after work I'm going to attend all of them 
because I'm never going to get a chance to again, so I'd love to do that. Um, and leading on to that as well, they have, um, for cast members as well, they have extra sort of activities you can do, so um, day trips to Miami Beach and different sort of touristy things. Um, you know, if they're going to organise it and you just have to pay, it's so easy. So if I can see a bit of Florida while I'm there, I'd love to attend all of those. Um, as well as other um, activities they do, like volunteer work. So if they're doing some of that while I'm over there, that would be sweet. Um, I'd love to do that with them as well. And the last thing on my list, which is kind of pretty obvious because it's something I'm doing in my program anyway, is studying. I've decided I want to take two classes. So I want to obviously show up to all of those classes, get the most out of those classes and apply them to my career back home and um, so I can get my certificate of completion at the end of the classes and stuff like that so I'd really like to do that. So that is a really short bucket list. If anyone knows anything else in the parks that I need to do or a place that I need to go let me know. Hang on, I'm gonna add <laughs> I'm going to add one more thing to my bucket list before I forget. I didn't write it down, but it just came into my head. The last thing is to go to the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. I remember that from the first couple times that I went. And, you know, mainly I just saw little kids in there and, you know, I was only there on a holiday, so I'd only be there for like a week and I was dancing there and I never really got time, but I'd really love to go and get princess fied at the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. That would be pretty cool. Okay, that's my bucket list. I'm pretty sure if... Now, if anyone knows anything else I should add, please comment. Um, if you know anything else that's really worthwhile doing in either downtown Disney or um, one of the Disney parks that's really good or really touristy or something that you have to do when you go, let me know. I'd love to um, make this bucket list even bigger if I can. But at the moment, that is what I've got. Wait there, hang on. Okay. So as of today, sorry, I've got a little countdown thing here. Um, I have seven months, one day, 17 hours, 35 minutes and 16 seconds until I check in for Disney in August. I've got that countdown going on, so that's how much longer I have. I think I had almost 10 months, pretty much 10 months when I first found out I got in. So it's been two and a half or three months already. So time's going by really quickly. So I haven't um, received any other emails from Disney yet, but when I do, I'll let you know, and I hope you guys enjoy.